In this video, we're going to go over zeros theorems. First, we're going to factor P of X. Let's call this part R of X. We can factor further using ration, possible rational zeros theorem, which is plus or minus P over Q. I can factor four up using one times four, two times two could be plus or minus, right? So our P will be one comma two comma four. And the factor of one will be just one times one. So our Q will be one. So using Descartes rule of sign, we can tell that um, we don't really have positive real zeros because there are no sign change just between two consecutive terms. We have plus one X to the fourth plus two X cubed plus five X squared and so on. So I know that I have to check with negative value. So when I check R of negative one, this equals zero, this tells me that that's a factor of R of X. So I can find the remaining factor applying synthetic division. One degree less from R of X will be X cubed plus X squared plus four X plus four. So we can say that factor will be 2x times x plus 1 from the remaining theorem. And x cubed plus x squared plus 4x plus 4 from synthetic division. Let's call this part q of x. And when I do q of negative 1, this equals zero. So we can say that that's a factor of Q of X. And we just need to find the remaining factor after applying synthetic division. We have one, one, four, four as our coefficients. So one degree less from Q of X will be X squared plus zero x plus four, which is basically x squared plus four. You can use quadratic um, formula. You can use the quadratic formula in order to factor x squared plus four further, or you can tell easily that's x plus two i times x minus two i. Then we factor p of x completely. Now, looking at P of X, we can tell that degree is five. Polynomial is two X to the fifth plus four X to the fourth plus 10 X cubed plus 16 X squared plus eight X. And X equals zero is a zero of multiplicity. Let's put multiplicity as M equal one negative one is a zero of multiplicity two, because we have two here. And x equal negative two i is a zero of multiplicity one. x equal positive two i is a zero of multiplicity one because it's raised to first power up here, right? So if you add these multiplicities, we can tell that numbers of zeros will be five. 